Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to First Gens in Tech. We are so excited to have you all here today. This is one of my favorite events, and we all get really jazzed up when it's First Gens in Tech time. Um, we have a schedule filled with tons of awesome programs, and while we may not all be gathered in the same room, we are all together on the same Zoom. You're joined by hundreds of other First Gens like yourself, so at no point should you feel alone. So who am I? Who is this crazy person who's so excited about First Gens in Tech? Well, my name is Felis Matos. My pronouns are she, her, and I am a manager on the customer onboarding team. And First Gens in Tech is my favorite event for a lot of reasons. One, I'm a first gen. I am the first in my family to go to college and graduate. My father never uh, attended a college or university. My mom attended Kentucky State University. Um, but she met my dad, they fell in love, they had me and the rest is history. But I graduated from Trinity College back in 2012. I majored in global studies and I minored in Japanese language. So some of you might be thinking, um, well, I'm sure she wanted to do business, economics, politics. No, I just wanted to be able to watch anime without subtitles. And that is why I majored in Japanese in college. But it was awesome, and I still ended up in tech. So first in my family to finish college, I also come from an immigrant family. My mother's family is actually Black American, so half immigrant family. My mother's family is Black American. Uh, my mother is Afro-Latina, half Black, half Puerto Rican. My father's family is Indo-Caribbean. So they are from Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad specifically. Hand raise for those of you who've heard of it. For those of you who haven't, totally fine. It's a small island, not too far from Venezuela. My father's side of the family, they're all from Trinidad. They migrated from India to Trinidad, I think in the 1920s. So very mixed family. And being a first gen is a very interesting experience. You know, I remember being in my first job out of school and kind of looking around and being like, you know, wow, there, there's so many, people here who are able to just have certain conversations that I felt like I hadn't been privy to beforehand. And a lot of them would say things like, oh, well, me and my mom would, you know, go to her college and meet with her professors and things like that all the time. And I didn't really have that growing up. And I remember for a little while feeling upset about that. But what you come to find when you are a first gen is just a resilience and a strength and a mindset unlike any other. Maybe I didn't have parents who graduated from college or university, but I had parents who taught me to be myself, who taught me to be brave and fearless and inspired and encouraged, who taught me that I could do or be anything, who had so many hopes and dreams invested in me that were like the, the winds that moved me forward. I had parents who showed me what it meant to be hard working who showed me what it meant to take risks, who showed me what it meant to put family first and to not apologize for it. And those are things that only as a first gen, you can really, really feel to the core. So I hope that all of you leave this event today feeling super inspired and encouraged. Another reason why it's one of my favorite events is because I actually attended this event. This is back in 2017, where we were all in the same room, breathing in each other's air. And while I wasn't a fresh out of a college grad at the time, it was really important to me that I work for a company that prioritized diversity, inclusion, and belonging and actually modeled it. And to you know, have C-level people speaking at this event and to recognize first gens and then having folks across the company share their stories, be so willing to network and help and just the excitement and energy, it was unlike anything I'd experienced. And I knew that this was the type of place I wanted to be. So some advice for how to get the most out of today. Believe it or not, I'm actually kind of shy. And it took a lot for me to stand up in front of Darmesh and ask the question that I'd written in my notebook. I don't even remember what it was at this point. But I want all of you to also be shy, but be yourself. Be shy, but say it anyway, but speak anyway, but put yourself out there. Don't walk away from this event and not have anyone know who you are. 
what you do, where you come from, what you studied, what you like, what you're interested in. Those are all things that should be shared. I also would love it if all of you would silence your inner critic today. If any of you are wondering what is your inner critic, it is that voice in your head that tells you, don't say anything, no one's gonna listen to you, no one cares what you have to say. Silence it all. You are here for a reason. We are all happy to have you here. And it would be a shame for no one to know who you are at the end of it. We don't look for any type of fit. We don't want anyone to fit in a box. What we look for are culture ads or anyone who's going to add to our knowledge, our network, our perspective, our skill set. And that's exactly what you have to offer. Something that no one else does because there's no one else on the planet like you. We are absolutely thrilled to have you all here today. Again, be shy, but speak anyway, but ask anyway. Be yourself and don't let anything in your brain tell you you don't need to be. Thank you all for being here. We're thrilled to have you here. Let's get started.